How's it going, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about the truth about the COVID-19 in South Africa, and these lockdowns have not been very effective, in my opinion. They've also dismantled South Africa's economy worse than it already was. By not for the longest time, not even allowing drive through fast food restaurants to open, or even allow delivery service to open, um, that could keep the economy a little bit afloat, kind of like in the United States. But let me explain what the, the truth behind this lockdown. They've not enforced the lockdown in heavy ANC uh, districts, meaning a district that's filled with supporters of the ruling party, the African National Congress. The lockdown has not been enforced. That's number one. Um, even their health minister, Dr. Zwele, Mc, Zwele, Mc, Zwele Mkize, um, had called the COVID-19. I pray that he recovers, even though he's from a political party that I disagree that doesn't change that even if I may not personally like him, I still pray that he gets well from the COVID-19. I don't wish that on anybody, even though I support the opposition party, not the EFF, the Democratic Alliance. That's a different argument for a different day, though. All right, let's talk about the uh, the, the COVID-19 in South Africa. Okay, they are, South Africa has the highest number of recorded cases in the entire continent of Africa. That's number one. Number two, they are the 12th hardest hit country in the world. From COVID-19. Okay. They have over 700,000 cases. And 18,000 deaths. That are documented. Okay. Um, I believe the death total now. Is 18,900. No, no, eight, I believe it's 18,598. But I do know it's over 18,000. And they have over 700,000 confirmed cases of the coronavirus. Now, the recovery rate in South Africa is 90.3%, not 93%, 90.3%. So, they're not, it's not a worldwide model to follow. South Africa got hit hard by the COVID-19, just like every country did. South Africa has more confirmed cases than the country of Italy does. We're all in this together, like it or not, fighting the COVID-19 virus. So it hit Africa like it hit every other continent, but because of the situation of um, the brain drain, when a lot of African doctors get their skills to get their medical certifications, they go to the West, either to England or the United States or Canada, um, largely due to corruption problems with their government, by the way. Uh, that's why it happens. Uh, that due to that, there's uh, not as many recorded cases. There's probably a lot more that are not documented throughout the entire continent. So anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.